G'day Tankers and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Steamyager here and today I'm bringing you a battle in the Tier 9 American Medium Tank, the M46 Patton. This is by far my favourite tank and it's just a combination of things like the gun depression, the gun handling, the, the armor's okay, it's not amazing for a medium tank but it's not bad either, the speed's pretty good, it's f manoeuvrable, oh, it's just everything about it. Oh, the turret speed is fast as well uh, it's just everything is great about it in my opinion and it holds plenty of ammo as well i mean 30 rounds of main ap and 22 rounds of apcr and two rounds of ht is brilliant i think it's a great combination um i very rarely um have i ever run out of ammunition i think i've only done that once maybe twice if that and i've played almost three, 300 battles in this thing it's it's by far my favorite tank um it's probably also one of my best performing tanks, come to think of it. But anyway, start the game. Um, this is going to be a long game, I will I will warn you, so uh, please get extra popcorn. A um, bit of a nail biter as well it will be. But uh, yeah, it is uh, very definitely a fun game to watch. So, on this map, I, I, I this is my... I hate this map. Not my favourite, um, but when I get it and I'm playing on this side, I normally go for the um, what would you call that southern side of the map. Just mainly just due to the fact I can get some good shots in there, and you'll see a good example of that shortly. I'm going to give a shout out to our artillery. Uh, at this point as well because um, they really perform well yeah he really performs or he or she depending who you are and is that looks like your name's Aaron yeah whichever but yes whoever you are thank you you do very well um, yeah so a bit of health disparity at the beginning as well um, we've already got spots on the enemy team it's the CDC on our team who you may have seen in the chat I mentioned. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it there. I did record a section where I went on a bit of a rant and went, well, this is not constructive, I don't really want to be that sort of player. But anyway. So, see you Clowns Panzer. Getting replaced soon, the uh, Clowns Panzer, which is uh, something I'm a bit delighted about because I'm playing it on the Asian server and I hate it. It's awful. I just, I just don't like no alpha guns. Pardon me, I've got a cold. Um, take an unnecessary hit from the low over there. It's the Alpha Clarence Panzer is not a tank I'm quite fond of, just due to the... I don't like single shot low alpha guns. Like I like, I like the Bulldog. I like other auto loaders that have s low alpha guns, but you can, you can sort of build up the alpha quickly. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of high alpha guns like this gun. I mean, there you go. Nice meeting you. Although, again, we're doing silly things early on, and we shouldn't be. So, we've taken two hits early on, and we've lost just about half our health. Just under half our health, actually. But yes, um, that. That of. That of. Uh, I'm about to say, off Clowns Panzer. That, um. Oh, what's it called? The, the, oh, the Waffen Tractor. Um, will prove a bit of thorn on our sides. We don't repay that um, low back for the shot he put into us earlier. Oh, if the game's a bit jumpy, um, it's just due to the fact that I was playing without a network cable in my PC. I realised halfway through the game went, oh, that's why. Um, so I'm playing on wireless, which is not good at all. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, I'll try and edit those coughs out the best I can, but can't promise anything. So yeah, we, this is this is going to be a bit of a slow game. I mean, don't 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 uh, worry. This will be a very good game. I'm sure you. Otherwise, I wouldn't be putting it up. I'm very critical of my games at times. But yes, super pushing there. Missed a shot on him. This is a Yoke Panther. Oh. As you can see, like looking at the gun, you can adjust the gun, your aim and, and you hardly have to do a thing. It's very nice, very smooth gun handling. 
it's a pity that this game, the gun, uh, the ping was all over the place. Yeah, I'm just getting, I'm getting lots of nice shots all over the place. That T34, that's a nice mini hit. And, and again, this is why I like this is why I like this gun. It's very, it it it, it packs a nice punch. It's not, and it's it reloads really easily. I think it's only seven ish seconds, seven and a half seconds. That's decent for this this type of gun. And they they're buffing the aim time again, which is oh, 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 this is why I love this tank because they just keep buffing it. And these are more maybe they'll give it freedom rounds or something like that just to make it even more awesome. I hate with double damage or something like that. That'd be pretty awesome. I'm, I'm joking about that. That'd be just disgusting. Um, yes. Yeah, so right now we're just trying to spot targets. And yeah, we're not. There's not, not a lot happening. I mean, we've done 2k damage. That's that's an okay game. But yes. Technically, though, this is an M47 pattern. Just due to the, um, the turret that it currently has. The M46 had the uh, same turret as the Pershing. It basically, the Pershing and the pattern uh, M46 were the same tank. Uh, except the pattern had a fair few upgrades when it was redesignated. Pershing wasn't a very. Wasn't, wasn't that great, like it was a good tank, but it had a lot of shortcomings it seems. It was popping around into the 234 there. Another fun fact, Arnold Schwarzenegger owns one of these, an M47 pattern. I don't know why he bought one, but then again he's a millionaire, so why not? <laughs> Hell, I'd buy, I'd buy, I'd buy tanks if I had, if I had millions of dollars. I wouldn't know what else to do with it. I'd probably buy a better PC. Yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably do that first. I've got a terrible PC. I've got a laptop. <laughs> if you're interested in what sort of laptop I use, look up, look up, look up the Pavilion. That's literally the laptop I use. The HP Pavilion laptop. It's terrible. But yes, the job done. Take out the LS there. So we've done 3.5k damage. That. That Waffen Trap is really annoying. I took another hit from him, but it was worth to take out that IS. This map is so campy. I mean, it's, look at it. It's just really, really campy. No one's really doing anything. Uh, if, like if you if you read around the video and watch it again and just watch the mini map, you'd notice that no one has really moved. Like we've, we've, we've sort of moved back and forth here and there, but it's just nothing's really happening. And the uh, 1357 is uh, showing he does not like that, but the, I don't like it either. But what can you do? T95, that's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to d deal with. Um, since Super Pershing, but we don't get around into him yet. It's rather annoying. Pop around to the 6 I should have la aimed further to the right. He might have hit him. He wasn't there anymore, he'd gone. <coughs> Pardon me again. Yeah, the, this this tank is very nice, and it, I, I really do enjoy playing it. Like, it's my it's my go-to tank when I'm having a shitty day. You can always depend on this tank to do well, even in a tier ten game. I mean, in some ways, like I've got the M48 pattern, and I, I really like that tank, but it's not quite. It's just it's not quite the same. It's a little bit slower. The gun, the gun's better. I mean, no, no doubt you can pin the front of most tanks with that gun is quite decent. Um, but this just this just feels it feels more rewarding to do well in this tank. I'm not sure how you can, how you can describe it. I just it just this tank driving this tank and knowing that I can drive it well just 
makes me happy with this one. And you're all having a good chuckle about the map, how it needs to be removed and stuff like that. I think that's a general consensus with a lot of tankers. It's just not a good map for um, <coughs> random, battle, random battle gameplay. I mean, even competitive gameplay, it probably isn't brilliant. I mean, if you look at the map, you're literally um, divided by a big, Im almost impassable swamp in the middle. You've got a bridge on one on both so on both ends, where you basically funnel necked into getting wiped out. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I I do apologise for my cough. It's oh. It's not, it's not great. Also, if you've been wondering where I've been, I've actually been playing different games. I've been playing a bit of War Thunder. Um, uh, what else have I been playing? I've been playing Planet Side 2. I'm really enjoying that. Uh, a guy from work got me into it and now I'm slowly starting to learn that. I'm, I'm not going to stop playing World of Tanks, don't you worry. I, I do still enjoy World of Tanks. I just, I, just, I just need a break every now and then from... The game's just, just been infuriating, infuriating me a little bit. Also, my lack in uh, funds at the moment means I haven't been able to buy any um, premium time, which I've really been lacking for a while. Four, almost 4.5k damage. Did a 10 rounds of AP. Uh, AP. Game's about even though at the moment. I mean, it's, it, it, we're literally down for the last four minutes. The clock's ticking, and I've decided we've just got to move. So I've been waffling on about this on this game. Just haven't been able to do anything other than waffle. <coughs> Again, I apologise. Oh, dear, dear. I'm trying to get a shot of this panda, but really I should probably just rush up. But luckily, about three, about thirty seconds, pops him. There we go. That was a good shot. Those two um, panthers are in a platoon together. The second one's um, just behind him. I'm actually surprised that he was this far up. The panther's not a good tank to be this close. And it's, pr it's pretty poorly matched. I've been playing the panther on the Asian server as well. And it's a good tank. But I feel as if it should be a tier, f tier six. But it's it's got it's got a good HP pool. It's got that. The gun's a bit anemic though. It's got decent pen. It's really accurate and it's just it's got a decent range, rate of fire. As you saw there, really easy to snapshot with this gun as well. It's just the the gun just the aim time's really good and. Uh, this is, going to, this is going to be awesome, watch this. I was really worried about getting hit, but then Arturi takes out the second panther, and that's brilliant. And we've just gone, right, let's gun our engines and then move up. There's only one thing I'm really worried about at the moment, and that's the artillery. I'm just sort of hoping he pops up so I can pop around to him and then run away. We've only got a minute and 46 seconds left, so I can't cap on my own. So we need to kill them all, unless we all cap together. I'm, I, I, remember, I, I remember just thinking, holy crap, this is close. pop up and nothing's there and I'm just like holy crap all right well we're building in the cap circle quickly 
And it's a good thing I pay attention to my mini map because this could have been disastrous. Six cents also helps. But there's another six camping at the back. So I'll pop his PCR around into the top of his turret. Not many other guns would have been snapshot that that quickly. And um, yeah, as we can, as you can see, we're just we're staying at the bottom end of the um, of the uh, cap circle there, just so that if anything pops up, we've got a gun depression to help us. <coughs> Pardon me, the yeah, Panthers are dead now. And the T95 is being picked apart by other tanks. The Rommatel is here. I've loaded two, my two HP uh, HE rounds, so I can hit him for about 500. But Archery takes him out. Again, Archery has been a pretty uh, good game. And with six seconds left, five seconds, four seconds left, three seconds left, we cap. And wow, that was close. <laughs> Couldn't have cut it any sooner, could you? But yeah, literally, um, literally, um, me, the AMX, and the Yank Panther won it for the, for us because otherwise it would have been a draw. Um, so yeah, we finished on four thousand seven hundred and eighty-nine damage. That's pretty damn good. So yeah, let's move on to the post-game stats now. And as you can see, that was a mastery game, which is always very nice. Uh, we also picked up the Spotter Medal, the Fire for Effect Medal, and the Bruiser Medal. We also got Patrol Duty, which is something I don't get very often. Um, yeah, we managed to uh, net ourselves 500 and... Sorry, oh god, this is, ter this is a terrible habit of going 500 and all of a sudden like that. But 52,488 and 1,323 experience, which is quite nice. That's actually our base experience. I'll sort on uh, experience earned. And uh, yes, as I said in the beginning of the battle, uh, thank you very much to our artillery. They did a fantastic job of um, doing damage. I mean, let's have a look. There's one, two, three people who cracked 1k damage. Um, if it wasn't for me and him, I don't think we would have won. Because... Yeah, I mean, the the guy, these guys did well. I mean, this, obviously some people uh, contributed in some way. Otherwise, these guys wouldn't have so much experience. I mean, what did, so let's see what this guy would do. I did, he did some sp spine damage. That's always good. What does this guy do? Oh, sp spine damage, see? Spine damage. Always very, very important to get. And it helps us do damage. So, yes. Where did he go? He got some spoon damage too, yeah, how funny. But yes, he got um, five kills, which is very good. If he didn't get his top gun, that would have been very nice for him. Um, hopefully he gets it another game. But yes, uh, 13 shots, 10 hits, and 10 penetrations. So, nasty gun artillery. Everyone knows what I think about artillery, but still, I'll, I'll happily uh, give a shout out to a player on my team who does better than me if he's artillery. And uh, yes, the shots fired, 23, 15 of those hit, 14 penetrated. Um, not many, if you think about it. If you think about it. Like, there's a fair few rounds there, but it's not a lot. Um, damage, 4,789. And 3,426 was from a distance of more than 300 metres. So, probably could have got the tank sniper medal. Although, is that for a... I'm not sure, it's certain actually. I'm not certain. Um, received three hits and they all penetrated again. No armor on this tank, it's a medium tank, it doesn't need armor. Um, spotted five enemy vehicles. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, damaged eight enemy vehicles and killed three of those. And uh, we did 2,052 spotting damage, which is uh, quite nice. And we also earned 55 base, uh, base capture points. So yes, um, very good game. The game lasted 14 minutes and 55 seconds according to the clock. Um, got very lucky, although apparently I got destroyed uh, one second according to the time of destruction, but although I survived, I don't know how that works, but I don't care. That's fine with me. Um, we did make a loss though, because we do run um, 
food consumables and stuff like that, just because I like to get the tank down to its main DP, uh, best DPM. I, I currently run food, brothers in arms, and uh, vents on this to get a 120% crew, um, and it works really, really well. I mean, I get down to almost five, almost ten, uh, almost seven seconds. And hopefully I can get under 7 seconds with the new um, buffs that it's receiving. It's losing like point, point 0.3 um, seconds on the uh, reload. That's not a lot, but it's also not bad either. But anyway, um, yes, I hope you enjoyed that game. A bit of a nail-biter towards the end, and um, I, I certainly really enjoyed that game. In fact, I, I felt very uh, much like I accomplished something quite well. Um especially since we won that game for our team, which is uh, always a nice feeling. Um, not saying that other players didn't contribute, it's just that we definitely, if we hadn't have moved and assaulted up there, we wouldn't have won. So, yeah, I'm going to say that I won that one, so um, feel free to disagree and call me arrogant, but that's okay. I don't mind. Anyway, I hope you really enjoy that game. Um, I hope I have some more coming up soon. Um... Hopefully you take care and I'll see you next time.